In a hut in the middle of Nandavan, Sendan Amuthan was lying sick. Pungazalai was serving him with love. Vana brought the porridge that she had given him as part of the mummy and made him drink it. A little while ago, the doctor from Sundara Chola Hospital had come and seen Santhan Amudan. Pungazalai questioned him alone while leaving. How is Amudan, will he survive? She asked. He had a fever once before and was weak. He also fell off a horse after a long journey. That is not bad. But he is worried about something in his mind. That is why the recovery of the body is hindered. Said the doctor. Keeping this in her heart, Punguzali asked, Amuda, what's bothering you? Why aren't you excited? Do the doctors say that your body's recovery is delayed because of your anxiety? She said. Amuthan said, Pungujali. Shall we tell the truth? Or shall we keep one thing in our hearts and speak one thing outside? He said. Flowerpot. Are you implying that I am such a talker? She asked. Pungujali. It is dangerous to talk to you. If you had not spoken, I would have been happy to see your face. Wouldn't you be happy if I was born dumb like my aunts? Not a day, the joy I get when you sing has no limit. What is there in mere speech? Sing a Devara Pan. That's not possible, I'll sing only if you tell me what's on your mind. Then listen. All I care about is that my body is going to get well soon. What do you mean by this? Am I praying to all the gods for your recovery? Why worry about your recovery? You'll leave me when I'm cured, won't you? I'm worried about that, flower girl. Bungazali's face was like a blossoming lotus, shining with morning dewdrops. A smile spread across his petals. Tears welled up in his eyes. Amuda. My heart melts at the thought of your love. I don't want to leave you, I can't help it. Yes, the tide is taking you. So what? I will come with you. Give your consent to it. My body will also be healed. Amuda. The vow I am making within my heart prevents it. What is that vow? My desire is to marry the king who rules the earth and sit with him in the lion. If this is not possible, I have vowed to spend my time as a virgin. Yes, Pani's Selvar has a place in your mind. But Pungujali. Is that a thing that happens? You are mistaken. All the people born in this Chola country love Pani's Selvar. Men, women, old people, and small children all love Arulmas Hivarmar. Similarly, I adored him. When he was lying on the boat with fever, you and I together helped him and saved him. So, you're sure you don't have a different opinion of him, he? Amuda. There is another one who was born to marry Pani's Selvara. She is the Kajumbalar Princess Vanathi. When I was about to talk to her about something, the girl vowed, I will not mount a lion. She who was born in the royal clan has said and vowed like this. You say, I will end up climbing a lion. You say, otherwise, I will spend my time as a virgin. Amuda. My aunt loved the royal family and so her life was miserable. I will achieve in my lifetime what my aunt failed to achieve. Why not? You have that desire because of my lack of blessings. Said Amuthan. Then why should you despair? There is no rule that only those born in the royal clan can become kings. Those born in ordinary families like you have established kingdoms by their heroic deeds and ascended the throne. You too take such a vow today. In this great land of India and in other countries across the sea, establish a kingdom by your heroic deeds. Make up your mind. I will not leave you and support you, said Punguzali. Punguzali. I was not born for such things. My mind is not engaged in fighting with a knife. I do not want to touch even a small animal. A crown and a lion do not appeal to my heart. I want to pass the time chanting Lord Shiva and Lord Shiva. So you are not suitable for me. I want to marry you. It's like a lame man longing for a horn. Pungujali. It's no use asking you to linger here. Go away. Don't wait for my body to get better. 
Sentine Muthan said. At that moment, they both stopped talking when they heard footsteps at the door of Akutil. <laughs>